Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And I got a question. Of, actually, I see that comment, first of all, regularly. And I got an official question from someone about a new PC that he's buying that will have Windows 11 on it. And he sees people going to Windows 10 from their new PC because they don't want Windows 11. And he um, <clears throat> is asking my opinion. <clears throat> what do I think about you know, going from Windows 11 to Windows 10 on a new PC. Well, first of all, I think it's something that should not be done. There's absolutely zero reason to go from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Um, it's a waste of time, a waste of resource. And the other problem is you will eventually have to go back to Windows 11. Might as well get on with it now. Um, I think that's the main reason. Um, you know, there's no... For the most part, no apps or no devices that don't work with Windows 11. So it's, I think, something that uh, could be drawn by, uh, f like, you know, fake news or bad information out there. Um, I've seen one particular um, person uh, post that they were going back to Windows 10 because they're hearing so many stories of crashes and problems in Windows 11, which is absolutely not true. Windows 11 is as stable as Windows 10. There is no crashing issues or problems. Anybody in the chat, in the, the comments section that will say, well, my PC crashes all the time on Windows 11. Look at your PC. There's a problem with your PC. There's not a problem with Windows. And that is obvious. And, um, you know, people, for some reason, get hurt if we tell them that their PC has a problem. Uh, it could be software, it could be simply something that you have installed that you shouldn't have, or maybe too many software, too much stuff. It could be bad drivers. Uh, but uh, one thing for sure is that, nope, Windows 11 does not crash more than Windows 10. That is um, really false information that people are talking about. I think one of the, also the uh, other things, uh, you know, I can understand that people might feel a little weird seeing how Windows 11 is and and then they're kind of, well, feel kind of lost because it's, I have the impression that uh, the, the, you know, the start menu in the middle and all that big panel and stuff. But in reality, if you take the time to analyze and, and go through Windows 11, you'll notice that it isn't that far off from Windows 10 in reality. So, um, you know, I think there could be some people that see this and are kind of, wow, I don't want this. I want to have the regular Windows 10 like before. Uh, which, you know, uh, I've always resisted as a tech guy um, when new versions of Windows came out. People would often ask me to, you know, I want to go back. Um, and I would always tell them, don't. It's useless because you are in a new system and this is going to be the standard in a few years. If you get used to it now, you'll be okay when all of it, you know, gets there in a few years. Now, if you go back, you'll have to learn it again in a few years. So, you know, it's, I, I find it very useless to go back, to go to Windows 10 or downgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 11 on a new PC, uh, personally. Um, and I think that uh, too many people are just listening to too much of the high pad there of, of a lot of people being negative because they're frustrated of the minimum requirements. So, personally, uh, you have Windows 11 on that computer, keep Windows 11 and you know learn to use it and you'll be happier like that because you will eventually have to in three years from now if you do go to windows 10 you'll have to find someone to help you go to back to windows 11 or you will go to windows 11 through a windows update process that isn't that difficult but you know why not learn now and be there in three years and you'll be happy that you don't have to learn something in three years you already know how to use it well like I said, it isn't that different and uh, has the same capabilities. Um, you know, not much um, to say that, you know, nothing to say that you should go to Windows 10 if you're on Windows 11. Um, if you have bought a PC and I've gotten from Windows 11 to Windows 10, um, I'd be curious as a little uh, YouTube uh, video survey here as to what is the main decision that made you go from Windows 11 to Windows 10 on a new PC. You can actually put that comment in the uh, below. 
and uh, be polite and be, um, you know, don't just say, I hate it. That's not a answer. And it's not a valid entry. Um, it's, it's when people tell me, it's like, I hate it. There's nothing to hate in Windows 11. It's different. Um, I personally find it's refreshing, but it's not perfect. Absolutely. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.